Hey guys, so today we are going to be working on apexes. I'm going to show you how to build one, how to fix one, how to, you know, how to make sure you have a good one and when you actually need one. So um, I'll be using my smaller brush, um, a size 8, so that, you know, I can mimic what most of you are going to be using um, when you first start out because that's when you're going to have the problems with the apex. Um, I am using colored acrylic today just so you can get a better view and I'm using the dismembered finger so I can give you the side profile um, that way you can see exactly what you need. Now a couple things, um, if you're doing nails that are short, um, that are just slightly off the free edge, uh, you don't really need to worry about the apex. The apex you need when you're adding, when you're adding a lot of length to the nail um, and you're going to add it to right you know, right about the bottom half of the nail so that um, to give it extra strength because that's where it tends to break the most is right above the free edge. So right around here and down. So that's where you want the bulk of your acrylic to be. Um, like I said, I'm using colored acrylic today just for, you know, visual purposes. But also if you're using colored acrylic, you want to lay down a thin layer of clear first for a couple of reasons. First reason is it protects your nail bed uh, from staining and it also helps build your apex. And also it is for strength because colored acrylic is not as strong. So you want to make sure that you're capping it in clear and also laying clear down at the base. Um, if you're just using clear acrylic, obviously you don't need to worry about this, but I do. So I am going to lay down my base layer of clear real quick. Now I know I'm, this looks a little weird because I'm, I'm holding the finger, yada yada, but um, I really need to be able to show that side profile. Now this will help you like I said, with adding that bulk where you need it, because a lot of us are going to be using colored acrylic. So you just want to kind of push that up, and if you're using colored acrylic, it does stain the nail bed, especially if you're using super pigmented colors like black or red. And you can probably do this in one bead. It, it doesn't, you don't need much, just enough to cover it. Now, you also want to be aware of being too bulky to where, you know, they look super chunky. Um, now, this is what we're starting out with here. So you can kind of see, oh, that's a, so you can see where our free edge is right here. And see how thin that is. Now, I'm going to use the three bead method today uh, because, again, that's what most people are going to be starting out with. And as you grow, you can cut this down. As your brushes get bigger, you can cut that down to two and even one bead. So I'm going to be using a gray so you can see where I'm covering. <laughs> Sorry, I've been super sick, so <laughs> my voice is a little off. Now... That first bead that you pick up, you're going to put on the bottom third of the nail. You're going to work it down and kind of feather the edges. So we're going to put this right about here. Press and release. And then we're going to work that down. Now I used a pretty big bead because I don't want to have to go back in. But I am going to show you how to add to the apex just in case you don't get enough the first go round. Now you want to make sure that you're feathering this up. You can do that by using your brush to kind of push and pat it so that you don't have a big ridge right there and that's going to help you blend those beads together. But that's not our focus today. But you don't want to wipe away the bulk of it right there either. You just want to blend the upper edge. Now, I'm going to continuously show you the side view so you can see where we're at with our building. See, we didn't really add a whole lot right there. 
but you want to get this looking the way you want it to look finished. That way when you add your next bead, you're not trying to do a ton of work on a bead that's drying. It's almost dry. Now your second bead, you want to make a little bigger than your first uh, because this is going to be where the bulk of your acrylic is going to go. Now where we're, we're going to lay this literally right on top of the line right here. Um, and that's going to be what helps us build that bulk. We're not going to put it above it. We're going to lay it smack dab in the center of that line right there. Now remember, if you're using colored acrylic, you're also going to be capping it in clear, and you can also add some of your bulk then. Now, we are not going to blend this all the way down, okay, because we don't want to move that bulk right there that we have. We just want to grab the edges and pull that down and make sure that it's nice and smooth without kind of flattening the whole thing out. Now we don't want a big groove right here, so we just want to fill in all the spaces. I only have one small brush, so. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing, just feather up that top edge and then smooth it up. As you can kind of see we're getting there. We got kind of our, see now we're starting to see some growth on the top. And you know, do your usual brushwork to blend. Make sure your sides are nice and straight. Make sure that there's not too much bulk on any one part. And just smooth everything out. And if there is, that's what your file's for. But it's, it's easier to do it during application, obviously. Now, we got that nice and smooth. And now we are going to add our cuticle bead and blend that in. Now your cuticle bead, you want that to be wetter and you want it to be smaller. You don't want a huge bead right there. Um, so I'd say about two thirds of the first one, or of the second bead that you did. And we're gonna do the same thing, lay that right on that line. Blend it down. And then we're gonna use our brush, pointing the finger down, to push that up to the cuticle so that we're not flooding it. We're going to pull that down, and that's going to help us blend everything together. Now, as you can see, we got a nice little curve there. It's right, it's right where that stress area is, and if you feel like it's too bulky, you can take it down. And just push some down and use it on the rest of the nail and blend it in. Make sure your cuticle's all filled in without flooding. Clean it up if you need to. Now I feel like I have a groove right here so I am going to add a little bit more. Just a little bit to fill in that space where I added my second ball. Which, that's perfectly fine if you need, you don't, there's no set rule on how many beads you need to use. You know, when you're first starting out, you wanna use smaller, wetter beads so that you have more control and more time to work with it as it dries. So if it takes you more than three, that's perfectly fine. Use five, use 10, use whatever it takes to get you that control that you need so that you're not spending eight hours, nine hours filing, you know? Now, so I have my apex built up right there. Um, I feel like it's a bit much, but eh, for visual purposes, it helps. Because I want you to be able to see where it needs to go. Now, if you're capping, what you're going to do now is grab your clear, and you're going to use your clear to fill in any spaces as well. So we're going to start our clear down 
on the bottom half, same as we did the others. We're going to pull that down. Feather that up. And then we're going to add a little bit more clear at the top. Now see that fixed that groove that I had. <laughs> so we're just going to add our the rest of our clear and you don't need your clear to really go all the way up to the cuticle so don't worry about that because you don't want to add a lot of bulk up to the cuticle. You just want a thin layer over the whole nail to help add strength to it. And you don't want to make it too bulky so just use the bare minimum just to make sure everything's nice and covered and keep it secure. And that's going to keep it from breaking and chipping when you're using colored acrylic. It's the pigment that's added to colored acrylic that makes it weak because it, you know, it dilutes the, the, the actual polymer. And there we go. Now see, we have a nice, nice apex there. And obviously you're going to file some of that down, but not too much. File, buff, whatever. Now, I am going to show you how to, I'm going to use, a, actually I'm going to use this. So, let's say that you look and your apex isn't as full as you want it to be. All you're going to do is take another bead. It doesn't have to be huge, however much you think needs to be added. And you're going to add that right where that apex is, you know, is thin at, where you want that to go. Right now, you're gonna work that all the way across, but you're not gonna like blend it too much. All you're gonna do is pull it up just a little bit, and then you're gonna pull it down just a little bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth, pull the edges down. I know it looks awful, but I already had my apex built, so. See how it gave it that little extra added height? And then you just blend the very edges, the bottom edge and the top edge. You don't really blend the middle of that bead. And that gives it that extra added height that you need. Oof, that looks rough. But you get the picture. Obviously, you want to do that before you add your clear, but... You know, and that's how you, you add, you can add quite a bit of bulk that way. Obviously, don't make it this thick. That's not necessary for anything unless you, you got like, you know, eight inch nails. Totally not necessary. So, um, yeah, that is the apex. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And you can also message me directly if you have any questions or need any questions answered or if you're struggling, you know. And as always, keep keep a watch out for the next big giveaway. I think I'm going to do a surprise one. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do a surprise one. I'm going to announce it randomly in one of the videos. And someone's. it's going to be a comment to win. And I will leave like a code word. And the first person to comment it will win some product. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That sounds fun. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching.